Hey guys, today we will be reviewing this little tablet here, which is the uh, Gaiman S56K. Uh, the company sent it to me so I can make a, a little review video, so let's get right into it. The first thing I noticed about this tablet was its affordable price, 39 euros, I mean, except for the Huion 420 and the Osu tablet maybe, uh, very few tablets have this quality price ratio. At first sight, the box looks really clean and professional, so that's always a good thing. Let's start by unboxing the package, shall we? Once open, the package comes with different elements. First of all, the tablet. Uh, unlike any others, it is very flexible and also extremely thin and light, which can be a good and a bad thing. Uh, you can easily move around with it, for example, and it is definitely harder to break than any other tablet, but still, be careful with it. The active area is 6 by 5 inches. Uh, it is quite small, so if you have a big area, you might want to have to get used to that. Uh, as for the tablet surface, it feels pretty smooth actually. The tablet can also serve as a mouse pad, so that's pretty cool. Now for the pen, it is a usual one, feels just like a Wacom pen in hand, although a little more heavy because it works with a AAA battery, which is provided. There is also a button on the pen that allows you to activate it and deactivate it at will. The box also comes with a 59 inches long USB cable and 4 spare nibs. A CD containing the drivers and the usual manual, which no one ever reads anyway, are also present in the box. Next thing to do is setting the tablet up. I mean it's pretty much plug and play at this point, all you gotta do is plug in the USB cable as well as the tablet and install the drivers from the CD provided. Next step is to configure your tablet area in the Gammon Utility tool which works the same way as any Wacom tablet by the way, so if you've been a Wacom user in the past, uh, it's going to be very intuitive. The only thing I can really criticize here is the fact that you're not able to input any values when configuring your active area. You have to actually move it around yourself. Now for the part you've probably all been waiting for, the gameplay test. All I can say is that it feels really good when playing. Uh, as I said earlier, the pen is a little more heavy than with the Wacom, but I guess that's just something you have to get used to. The tablet stays pretty motionless on the desk, so even if you drag the pen like I do, it doesn't slip around too much. I'll let you guys enjoy this bit of gameplay. Overall, this tablet is definitely a thumbs up for me. Little to no input lag whatsoever, very intuitive and professional design, and a surprisingly good quality price ratio too. If you feel like buying this tablet, check the link in the description below and select your country to be redirected to the amazing product page. I will also put the company's link in the description as I'm really convinced they are doing a good work and producing quality products for affordable prices. I'm looking forward to see what they could come up with in the near future. So I guess that's it, thank you guys for watching, leave a thumbs up if you like this review and if you have any additional questions regarding the tablet, just leave a comment and I'll make sure to answer it. Bye!